American Transmission, located out of Jacksonville, Florida. Since its beginning in 1982, American Transmission has been owned and operated by Keith Sagers. He is a retired ARCA Remax Series race car driver. Keith has been in the transmission remanufacturing and repair business for all of his life. American Transmission is a unique automotive repair facility. What makes them unique is the way they repair every make and model of every vehicle. And, and not only do they repair every vehicle, they remanufacture all of those transmissions. This gives them the edge over other repair facilities. Basically, if it has a drivetrain, they can repair it. They back every automotive repair with a warranty. From changing the battery, replacing CV axles, air conditioning repair, and complete transmission repair and engine replacement. Contact them at their Beach Boulevard facility at 904-396-3766 or their Atlanta Boulevard facility at 904-642-1010. For more information, you can also scan this convenient QR code to learn more about American Transmission. American Transmission, located out of Jacksonville, Florida. Since its beginning in 1982, American Transmission has... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Real Racing Online. I think it's like week number three or four. I don't know because I can't count. We're back once again here with the 358 Modified Series. And it is fixed. If you're interested in getting in on this, come check us out at Real Racing Online on the Facebook iRacing page. And ch check the league directory for us. And go ahead and hit apply. Get in here now and race with us today. Today, the race info for Weed Sport. That's where we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's a clay oval in the USA. City Weed Sport. Track length is 0.34 miles the length. And temperature is 61 degrees Fahrenheit with an altitude of 419 feet. 77 degrees is the ambient temperature outside with 34% humidity. Partly cloudy and winds gusting at about 6 miles an hour. We got quite a few drivers here tonight. Uh, not not a whole lot like we have in the past, but uh, we got at least 10 
Driver is ready to throw down some dirt and throw down some big slide jumps in turn one here at Weed Sport. And we're welcoming you to Real Racing Online. Thank you for having us and thank you for watching us out there on Facebook. Over 2,500 views a week per, per broadcast. And we couldn't thank you and everybody out there watching enough. We don't get a lot of drivers all the time, but we get the views and that's all that counts. Looks like uh, practice is about to stop here in just a couple minutes, and we will be back with you. You're watching Real Racing Online. Throw your comments out there, and uh, I will read them off live on the air as long as they're not lewd, crude, or anything like that. Let's have some fun. Uh, Kayla Kinsey says, let's go RRO, getting that name out there with the heart emoji. Thank you, Kayla. And uh, hopefully everybody out there had a happy Thanksgiving. And... Uh, Got to see family, friends, and uh, gobble gobble on some turkey. My mod out here is out in the kitchen right now making some Nesquik chocolate milk. You ever tried chocolate milk and putting Nesquik in the chocolate milk? I've never tried that, but uh, that's an idea for uh, diabetes. <laughs> To call it a diabetes shake. I don't know. I'm just making shit up as we go. Let's get it on, ladies and gentlemen. 45 seconds left. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it on. Heat race number one. About to enter the grid here. Let's check them out tonight. Heat race number one. There's the grid. Austin Hunter from Indiana in the eight car. He starts row one position number one outside of him. Brandon LaFon from Indiana in the number one. Dean Reynolds in the 779 out of New York starts third place. And outside of him, Drinking Bros' very own, uh, yeah, yeah, Cody Kinsey in the number 11. In inside that last row, Terry Woody showed up a little bit late, but he's here now in the double zero car out of Texas. Terry Woody bringing up the rear of the field. Dean Kinsey, yeah, yeah, better watch out for the wall. Yeah, the... The wall seems to get him a lot. Who are we watching here? A couple of people not showing up for heat race number one. I'm not quite sure why. Austin Hunter and Dean Reynolds. Um, hopefully they do know that that can affect them and give them an EOL in the feature if they don't show up for the heat race. If they're trying to start out front, that's uh, that's not the way to go. Three cars on the track, so eight laps the distance here in heat race number one at Weed Sport International Speedway. And Brandon LaFon's going to bring us to the stripe. Terry Woody back there blinking. He, he's always blinking. I need to get him some help with the old internet. Looks like Weed Sport needs to work on their lighting situation. Terry Woody hitting the inside wall there on pace lap. 
The lights on the pace truck are off. That means we are going to go green. Green flag racing this time by. Let's see if Cody can pull something off around Brandon LaFon. He's on the loud pedal. Let's get it on. It's he race time. LaFon taking off like a shot in the 44. Cody Kinsey close behind. Woody blinking away. There he is. He's going to hold on to third for right now. Let's watch along with Cody Kinsey, though. Coming out of that treacherous turn four into number one. Brandon LaFon's got a lot of trouble right behind him. Yeah, yeah, closing the gap. Now down to that low line in three and four. The 11 goes. LaFon, Kinsey, Woody, Reynolds, Hunter. Will Cody be able to pass Brand LaFon on the inside? Just a few short laps and we're about to find out. Number 11 going low to kick up that dirt. Can yeah, yeah, pull it off. Couldn't get any closer to the inside retaining wall. He's going to keep pushing the envelope down low, just like yeah, yeah, likes to do. Oh, my God. Side by side. Cody actually got the lead. Gets into the side of Brandon right there. And he keeps it going. Just a little side swipe there for Brandon LaFon. LaFon's got his work cut out with him. He's got Terry Woody down low. Woody now down underneath Cody Kinsey's to head into one. Man, Cody is working that low line real smooth now. Checkered flag out right there. Cody Kinsey pulls down heat race number one. Four cars for heat race number two. Yes, Dean. Yeah, yeah, did it. And he didn't even hit a wall doing it. But he did hit another car. I don't know if that counts. Row one, position number one. Jordan LaFon brings us home in the number 44 from Indiana. He's going to bring us to the stripe. Cody Clark on the, in the 522 from New York on his outside. Zane Yost on the inside of row number two from Indiana. And Charles Vestal in the number 73 on the outside of row two. Not a lot of cars tonight, but that means we have to go to old feature racing early. Yeah, yeah. At the end of this dirt season, if we don't start getting more drivers, we are going to put this out to bed. See, the timing tower is a little screwed up there. All right. LaFon's going to bring us home. Here we go. Green flag out. Let's get racing. Heat race number two. Zane Yost making quick moves on the inside in the ripple machine. Cody Clark trying to hold him off in the 522 up high.
Can Zane, the Yost out of Indiana, hold off the 44? Down low, just like Cody was doing. Yost to the front of the pack. He is your P1 guy right now. Jordan LaFon's going to have to muster up some speed and figure out what he did. It looked like he used that low line just like Cody did. In heat race number one, he's going to have to figure it out and get down there and make something happen here. Cody Clark and Charles Vessel. There's Charles Vessel's number 73 machine back there in P4 right now. Three to go this time by. See if Zane can hold it together long enough to beat good old Jordan LaFon. Two sticks in the air by the flag man. Two to go. Zane coming around. For the white flag in heat race number two. Looks like he's got the win nice and easy. One lap left to go as he hits the backstretch. He's got that Ripple mod rocking and rolling. Sponsored by XRP and Ripple. And that is the race right there. Zane Yost gets first. Jordan LaFont second. Cody Clark third. And Charles Vestal bringing home the rear. And it looks like that's going to be all she said. Here we go. For the feature tonight, Dean Reynolds in the 779 out of New York is going to start P1. Outside of him, Charles Vestal in the 73. Row two on the inside, Austin Hunter in the number eight. And to his outside, Cody Clark in the 522. Inside row three in that fifth position, Brandon LaFon in the number one car. And outside of him, Jordan LaFon in the number 44. Inside row number four, Terry Woody bringing up that uh, seventh spot in the double zero car. And outside of him, Zane Yost out of Indiana in the number 93. And bringing up the rear of the field, the heat race number one winner, number 11, Cody the Yeah Yeah Kinsey. Forty long laps here. Looks like Dean Reynolds went to the pits. Not quite sure why. But he did. And that happens. Might have been trying to change something real quick. If you miss your heat race, you got to start either from the pits or take a uh, end of the line penalty. That's just how it goes. Fireworks going off at Weed Sport here. Ladies and gentlemen, you wanted the best. You got them to abreast. Often imitated, never duplicated. The Real Racing Online 358 Mod Dirt Series. It's feature time. Cody's got a long road to hoe. Looks like Brandon LaFon's going to bring us to the stripe. Pace truck is off. Green flag is out. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon LaFon, your leader, bringing us down to the stripe for lap number one. It says lap number three. I'm not quite sure why. That's odd. Maybe it'll change right here. Trouble already in the back of the field there. Looked like Cody was involved. Both Cody's. Cody Clark comes up high into the 73, gets into the 44, and Cody Clark, or Cody Kinsey gets collected a little bit. 
No damage on the number 11. So he will continue on. So trouble for Cody Clark. Gets into one car, comes down into another car, and panic ensues. Dean Reynolds and Austin Hunter join the field. Well, it says they joined the field. I don't see them out there, though. They might be in their cars getting ready to come out. Doesn't look like they're going to lose much time on the field, though. So that's good. And it is showing that the laps are counting down, but I know that ca caution laps aren't supposed to count. Not quite sure why it's doing that. Mm. Just went down a lap now. Probably just the program that we're running for uh, the overlay graphics and stuff just kind of screwed up. Three laps down. Pace truck is off. Braden LaFawn back in control on the loud pedal. Here we go again here at Weed Sport. LaFawn rocking and rolling in the number 44. And he's got Terry Woody right behind him. Terry Woody looking real fast. Cody Clark now into Cody Kinsey back there. And somebody went spinning, and that was uh, Zane Yost that was in that. Cody Clark uh, might be having some issues tonight. Comes up into Cody Kinsey. Cody has to check up, and the ripple machine of Zane Yost gets collected. Caution flag comes out, and we are back under caution. Poor Zane Yo's just trying to get through the field. <laughs> Need money? We should raffle off the pace truck. Well, the pace truck's going to lead the most laps tonight, it looks like. I know these guys race a lot, a lot better than this. Looks like Cody Clark having some issues tonight here at Weed Sport. <laughs> Kayla, you're too funny. Four laps down out of forty. Pick your pony now. Who do you think is going to win this thing? Who do you think can bring home the crown at Weed Sport tonight? LaFon, Woody, Vestal, LaFon, Kinsey, Clark. Vestal, which his name is kind of confused with mine there. I don't know why. So weird. Pace trucks off. LaFon's on the happy pedal. Here we go one more time. Here at Weed Sport. Into lap number five. I can already hear trouble back there. Cody Clark in trouble again. And Cody's car is definitely messed up. Caution number three on the night. Cody Clark just having way, way too many problems tonight. He's going to have to pull that behind pit road and get her fixed. Looks like Cody Kinsey's going in for a uh, quick repair. They do have one quick repair allotted to him tonight. Cars are stopped on the speedway. I'm not quite sure why. I think they're waiting up for the pace truck.
Pace truck driver was sleeping on that one. <laughs> the guy in front says Dean Kinsey. Smart ass. Cody Kinsey rejoins the field. Taking his quick repair. Clark in trouble back there. Brandon LaFon says, come on, let's go, baby. Let's get this thing done. We're battling for money. Hey, I, I didn't cause that shit in, in bluegrass. Don't give me crap, Tim. <laughs> I was collected. I stopped for a guy that was on the front stretch turned sideways. And I had a guy hit me full bore from behind. <laughs> Jordan LaFont says, I'm on his ass now. He's going to get nervous. Well, we're going to find out here in a few short laps if you can do something. Here we go, let's get it on. Cody Clark rejoins the field there as they take the green. Coming out of the pits. There he is right there, and here comes the yeah, yeah machine. Yeah, you're gonna work that low line like he did throughout that heat race. I know that's what he's thinking. Little bit sideways coming off of turn four. Back to the race leader, Jordan LaFon. He's got Zanyos hot on his heels. As they are about to cross into lap number eight, Terry Woody back to third now. Jordan LaFon back to fourth. Cody's got his work cut out for him tonight. LaFon's got company. Zanios now side by side. With the number one of LaFon. Zanyos takes the race lead on lap number 10. Problems back there in the back of the field again. And it definitely looks, yep, yep, it was definitely Cody Clark. Whoa, Terry Woody coming out of turn four. Holy cow, was he sideways. Oh, uh, you are true. And then here comes Vern with the uh, with the skid steer, in the middle of the race. Zanyos, your race leader, Brandon Lafon takes the back seat in second place. Terry Woody back there in third. Jordan Lafon trying to get around the double zero blinky car, trying to figure out where he is at all times. Terry, we need to upgrade your internet, brother. Vestal back there in fifth spot, holding his own, trying to hold off Cody Kinsey. Clark is back in the pits. And Zane Yost is starting to walk away on lap 16 now. 15, rather. He must know something we don't know here at uh, Weed Sport. But he is low and slow. You listen to that car. He's really just kind of easing it out. Caution is out. Vestal crashed, it looks like. Gets into the wall, goes sideways. Cody Kinsey gets him, rolls him over. Cody Kinsey not having a good day at Weed Sport. We are also sponsored by American Transmission. The American Transmission 25 to go mark. Zane Yo started walking away from the pack. I thought he was going to start lapping people. Terry Woody in third. LaFon in fourth. Jordan variety of LaFon. 
Cody Kinsey still in the mix. Must not have got a lot of damage off that one. Vestal in the pits. Cody Clark in the pits. Dean Reynolds was there for a couple seconds and decided to go back to the pits. Austin Hunter in the pits. They could have just taken the, uh, the old EOL, but decided not to. 25 laps to go. Pace truck lights are off. Lafon gets his uh, his chance to get up next to Zane Yost one more time. We'll see if he has something for him this time. And maybe Brandon Lafon can get out around uh, Blinky Terry Woody. Back on it, doggone it. Here we go. 25 laps to go here at Wayne Sport. Real Racing Online, trouble already. Caution's going to come out on that one. Caution not out. There it is, there it is. And we've seen it firsthand right there. And it looks like... Yep, Zane just went in too shallow. Hit the wall. Zane Yost bringing out the caution and collecting Terry Woody. They are waiting for the pace car again. Well, let's take this time to do a little commercial break. We'll be right back with Real Racing Online here at Weed Sport. 40 Lapper. Brought to you by Pointer Motor Supplies. For all your AMS oil needs, check out PointerMotorsupplies.com. American Transmission, located out of Jacksonville, Florida. Since its beginning in 1982, American Transmission has been owned and operated by Keith Sagers. He is a retired ARCA Remax Series race car driver. Keith has been in the transmission remanufacturing and repair business for all of his life. American Transmission is a unique automotive repair facility. What makes them unique is the way they repair every make and model of every vehicle. And, and not only do they repair every vehicle, they remanufacture all of those transmissions. This gives them the edge over other repair facilities. Basically, if it has a drivetrain, they can repair it. They back every automotive repair with a warranty. From changing the battery, replacing CV axles, air conditioning repair, and complete transmission repair and engine replacement. Contact them at their Beach Boulevard facility at 904-396-3766 or their Atlanta Boulevard facility at 904-642-1010. For more information, you can also scan this convenient QR code to learn more about American Transmission. We're back at it here at Weed Sport. LaFon in charge. Zane Yost has made his way back up to second place. Jordan LaFon and Brandon LaFon trying to hold off Zane. Zane, another Indiana boy. In the number 93 Ripple XRM or XRP car. <laughs> they are trying. To hold him off, but here comes the Kinsey. Mr. Yeah, yeah. 20 laps to go. 19 this next time by. Cody Kinsey holding on for dear life. Terry Woody way back there. Cody trying to figure out that line and that number 11 real racing online. 358 mod trying to find something that these guys haven't I mean hell Zayn Yost is having trouble holding off the LaFon brothers Ooh, had a nice little run right there by Cody he's now side by side with Brand or uh, Jordan LaFon in the number 44 Brandon LaFont still holding on to that race lead. Zane Yost working that bottom as hard as he can. He might have it this time by. 15 laps to go as they cross the stripe. 
Vestal's out. Reynolds is out. Hunter's out. Oh, Cody! Cody catches the wall. No caution out. He's going to keep this race going. We're going to check it out on replay, though. It's a little too low here in three and four. He's catching it right here. Oh, gets into the back end of that car too. Zane Yost out in the race lead. Brandon LaFont second, Jordan LaFont third. Cody trying to catch up to the pack. Cody is almost a half lap down. But Zane Yost in control. No caution now. Brandon LaFond, Jordan LaFond trying to catch back up to him. Seems like they uh, chase Zane Yost every week. Remember, if you want to run here at Real Racing Online, it's absolutely free to do so. If you want to run for the money, it's just ten dollars to enter. We got to do. We do have a pretty substantial pot, though, for the end of the season. Even with the low car count, we have a. Uh, we got some money to give away to these guys, so we are thankful for our sponsor, uh, Pointer Motor Supplies. Check them out for all your AMS oil needs. Pointer Motor Supplies and Splash and Go Graphics for your, all your eye racing graphical needs. They do it all. Splash and Go Graphics. That's our Victory Lane interview. If these guys get in here for an interview, we'll find out. If not, we'll just talk to Cody for a little while. Caution is out. Might be involving LaFon. Oh, my God. Jordan LaFon got into the back end of Brandon there. Then Brandon brings the front end on the front stretch up in the air. Troubles for the double 44 cars, the LaFon brothers. Zane Yost, your race leader. Gives Cody Kinsey a chance, though. He might be happy about the caution coming out. Six caution of the night in 40 laps. Still better than a street stock feature at Quad City Speedway. Change my mind. I've seen 20 cautions in a 20-lap race. I shit you not. I think I was in one of those. We're with inside we're inside 10 to go now. So that's going to go single file. One of the fawns had to go to the pits. That was Brandon. He had a good race. He had a good thing going. Jordan's turn to try to crank up the heat on Yost. Yost trying as fast as he can to get this thing over with. Coming down to 4 to go this time by Yes, he does, Kaylee. Yes, he does. Cody's having trouble getting around Terry. He doesn't know where he's going to pop up if he uh, disappears there, and he disappears a lot, so we have to try to help him figure that out. Two sticks in the air this time by the Flagman. Two laps left to go here at Weed Sport. Wide flag out, one lap left to go, says the flag man. Zane Yost out to a comfortable lead here. Cody's still trying to get that third spot. Maybe get a podium finish. And Zane Yost is going to bring it home here at Wheat Sports tonight for the 40 lapper. 
Brought to you by Pointer Motor Supplies and American Transmission. Zane Yost, Jordan LaFon, Terry Woody, Cody Kinsey, Brandon LaFon, Charles Vestal, Cody Clark, Dean Reynolds, and Austin Hunter. That's your finishing order, one through ninth. Oh my god, Michael Ball Woolley, have you tried Mountain Dew Gingerbread? No, I haven't. Is that like out in the stores kind of thing? Got the leaders uh, sitting there, uh, one, two, three. For some picture opportunities, hopefully Cody gets that. Well, you did your best. It's Weed Sport. It's a tough as shit track. Probably why we didn't have the normal 15 to 20 cars. <laughs> Next week, where are we going? Let's check it out. Let's check out the dirt racing schedule. Next week, we head to Lernerville. That's on 12-5 of 21. Lernerville Speedway. And we got extra money coming up on 12-12-21 at Lima Land Speedway. Britt Montgomery Memorial coming up. On 12-19, we head to Lanier Speedway. And then on 12-26... The day after Thanksgiving, Volusia. And then bringing up the last race of the season on uh, the 2nd of January will be Eldora Speedway for the Gary Karras Memorial. And hopefully we can get a couple extra bucks together for that one. I think we, we can make it happen. And uh, we're going to have a fun time. So make sure you're there for all those races. I don't got any of these guys in here for interviews. If they want to be in here for interviews, they need to hurry up. If not, uh, oh, 1219 is Emily's birthday. Yep, we're going to be at Lanier on Emily's birthday. So she better be rooting on Daddy that night. We're going to bring uh, Cody up here. Cody! What's up, man? That was a tough race. <laughs> we're still broadcasting, by the way. I didn't think it was going to be that tough, but man, some people just had a rough, rough time. <laughs> How'd you yeah. feel about the race, Mr. Talkative? Being not racing for a whole week, that was tough. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody, you know. Actually, oh, yeah. you, yeah. Oh, I guess we did race last week. <laughs> what am I yeah. thinking? Yeah, it was a good race, though. It wasn't too bad. I've, I've seen worse features in real life, so... For sure. Um, I'm going to the stats here real quick. Let's see where we're uh, sitting. Modified Tour 2. Jordan LaFawn leads the way with 151. Guess who's tied with him? Cody Clark. Yeah. Hit from the 522. You're in third right now. Cameron J. Evans is fourth. Zane Yost, 5th. Terry Woody, 6th. Shane Yates, 7th. Dean Reynolds. Why didn't... I seen Dean Reynolds come up onto the track and then he boot, he got out of the track. Yeah, I think that was the other part of the problem. A lot of the guys don't like weed sport, I think. Well, yeah, well. I mean, I like it in these cars, but... Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not for everybody. Shane Yates is in 7th. Dean Reynolds is in 8th. Charles Vestal, 9th. Austin Hunter, 7th. You missed a week. You're still in 3rd, man. Uh, yeah. We've had 28 different cars show up. Justin Edwards is all the way down at the bottom. And uh, John Valentine, Tyler Daly, a former um, champion here at Real Racing Online, Tyler Daly. He's not able to be here every week, but, you know, he tries. All right, well, that's about it for us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out tonight. And uh, to my other owner, Cody Kinsey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah.